Okay, <clears throat> I wanted to do a little video showing how I paint my Coca-Cola letters on an embossed raised panel for a, a bow out chest. This is my WD-5 Coca-Cola cooler. The, uh, the body shop had already painted it white, then wiped the red off to reveal the white letters, but they didn't quite make them big and thick enough as I wanted them to be. So I'm painting over them. I'm going to show you how I do it. So you really don't have to be an artist or a sign painter to do this. All I'm doing is I'm, I'm painting over the letters, you know, the rays. I just follow the letters and kind of go over them a little bit, a little bit extra. Then I take Q-tips and wipe the excess off. Then I have these little uh, uh, cotton plugs that you use for a nosebleed. I get them a little bit uh, saturated with thinner and wipe the excess off. So I'm going to go ahead. I've already painted the C. I'm going to start with the O and show you how I do it. Just going to put that paint on there and I try to twirl the brush. I don't have a quill for letters. I can't do that. I'm not good enough to do that. I'm going to turn the, try to follow the curve as I pull the paint down. When I get down to here, I'm going to try to turn it, bring it back up, and I'm just going, I'm just overlapping over the sides of the embossed letters. If the body shop had wiped off a little more red, this would look better, I think. The other thing is they left the letters a little bit pink from wiping off the, the red paint. They didn't get quite all the red off and it left a little bit of a pink hue. Anyway, I'm just covering these up and following the contour of the letters. A little bit of overlap. We'll just go ahead and do the C since I'm running into the C. We'll just stop there at the A. This paint is uh, the white lettering paint that I bought from Funtronics when I was at their booth in Chicago at the uh, antique advertising show. So this is their paint. I put just a little bit of thinner in it. It's a little bit cool out here in this garage. But it seems to flow out fairly smooth kind of gives it a good plastic kind of coat when it dries. Might as well do the A while I'm at it. Let's just do all of it. I've heard of other people painting these letters white and then doing the red and then taking sandpaper and sanding it down to the white. Then my body shop did this. They did this without me even knowing about it. I just wanted them to paint it red and they painted the thing red and white. But, I mean, they did a pretty good job except the letters weren't quite thick enough for what I wanted and they didn't even know it. If I had to do it again, I'd say, yeah, let's do it a little bit wider. But They didn't know. Okay, now, I think we've got enough paint 
on here that's overlapping everywhere where it needs to. So now we'll take and put the brush down and what I like to use are these, I don't know if you can see them, these six inch uh, stick Q-tips. For me they're wound a little bit tighter than a regular Q-tip. They don't, the, the tips don't tend to fray apart. If you get the Q-tips at Walmart or just regular Q-tips, they're not quite as tight and when you're removing the paint they kind of fray. So anyway, here we go. So I'm just going to kind of start in here in this corner between the O and the C. And I'm just going to follow the contour of that letter with the tip. And just start removing paint. Sometimes you got to hold these things kind of firm near the Q-tip. Because if you hold them too far apart, they might tend to bend and break. And the other thing is um, you might lose your pathway and run across what you just painted. So it's good to hold it down here at the base and just follow the letter. Remove, I might need to add a little more paint there. Just kind of come up and follow it around. Oops, see I just made a mistake there. So I'm going to have to fix that. So we'll just kind of go over that. And this paint thins out pretty good. Add a little more down there. I think I didn't get quite a bit enough of that. I'm going to pull that up. That's kind of thickening. Sometimes you'll get spots that are just kind of thick and you got to pull them up and out to thin them out. Alright, so we'll get another Q-tip here and kind of go over this again. So I just follow the edges, removing that paint. A lot of times what I'll do when I get to a corner, I'll just kind of twirl that Q-tip before I pick it up. I'll do a little twirl here and Continue on. So when you pull it off, it just leaves a little thin line around the edge, which you can pick that up with another Q-tip or these little plugs I have. Or
Okay, so that's got most of it off. And, um, so really all I need to do now is just go around these edges and clean it up. Get a little thinner on there and that'll bust that paint up. These are the little plugs I was telling you about. These are made for uh, putting into your nose if you've got a bloody nose. And I think they're kind of good for <clears throat> this kind of mop up. You can also use these little triangles you get at Walmart in the beauty section that uh, women use to take their makeup off. They're little triangles, they work they work good too with these. I like these little cotton plugs. I'd already painted. I don't know if you can see up above where it says drink. I don't. I did that earlier today. Ah, baloney! See how screwed up there. So I'm gonna have to re retouch that up. Anyway, you can see the, the basics of this. It's not ultra complicated or anything. You just paint your letters and uh, go over them with uh, these little absorbent plugs to pick up the excess paint. So there's a couple areas here where it's kind of runny. I'm gonna have to touch that up. So it's slowly coming off and that up too. Anyway, yeah, I do that every now and then to a letter and I'll have to go over it again, mop it up, repaint it. It's all right.
Okay, we're getting closer here. Let me I need to mop up a couple spots there. But I messed up. Smooth that out a little bit. Okay, we'll just kind of clean that up. Hope I don't screw it up anymore. Well, that's where you got to be careful, not coming up off of that edge. Well, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> 